Speleology Sunday's Rocks versus Minerals. What's the difference? So what is a rock? What is a mineral? And what's the difference between the two? Well, our cave is in a rock, so this is a pretty important basic concept to go over in geology. Rocks and minerals are different things. Now, some rocks are made of minerals. Well, most of them are, but some aren't. You see, rocks don't have to follow the same rules as minerals do. As a mineral, organization is key. You must always have the right structure. Us minerals are quite organized, and we are definitely inorganic. That's not quite organized. I thought you were supposed to be hexagonal. Oh, oh dear. In order to be a mineral, it has to be naturally occurring, inorganic, have a definitive chemical composition, a specific crystalline structure, and it must be formed by geologic processes. Fluorite is a mineral because it has the chemical formula CaF2, and it has a definitive crystalline structure. Calcite and aragonite have the same chemical formula, but they are different minerals because they have different crystalline structures. These are the minerals you most often see in limestone caves. A rock can be made of one or more minerals. It can be made of glass. It can be made of hard animal body parts like shells, coral, fossils. It has to be naturally formed and it has to be relatively homogeneous geologic material at the large scale. In other words, it doesn't have to have a definitive crystalline structure or a definitive chemistry. It can vary a bit. For example, granite is a rock made out of multiple minerals like quartz, feldspars, biotite, and obsidian is a rock made of volcanic glass. Even though volcanic glass has a similar chemical composition as quartz, it does not have a crystalline structure. So it cannot be a mineral, but it is a rock. At the cave, you're mostly looking at the sedimentary rock limestone. Limestone can be made out of fossils, you know, like skeletons from crinoids, or it can be reprecipitated from solution. So in the cave, there's actually two different kinds of limestone. There's the limestone full of fossils, the one that's older than the cave and was formed at the bottom of that ancient ocean. And then there's the speleothems. That's a chemical limestone that formed after the cave was here. By the way, these videos are based on questions that people have asked me repeatedly here at the cave. So maybe you have a question about caves or geology that you want answered. Go ahead and write the question in the comments and I will do my best to answer it, maybe even feature it in a video. So come on down to Bluff Dwellers Cave. We don't just have a cave tour, we also have a museum. It's full of geology from all across the world and history, antiques, and our own family history. Because yes, Bluff Dwellers Cave is still owned by the original family that found the cave in 25. Thank you for learning with us today. And of course, we don't own the song I Wanna Rock. Twisted Sister does.